Greetings, and welcome to my video series about geography called At Last the World in Your Hands. In this first video, I'll be reading about Venice, the phenomenal city on the lagoon, Niagara Falls, on the border between two countries, the Galapagos Islands, the archipelago of the giant tortoises, Japan, the land of cherry blossoms, and technology, Hawaii, the Garden of the Pacific, and the Dead Sea Part 1, where no one can sink. Venice, the phenomenal city on the lagoon. The extremely well-developed tourism in Venice encouraged the Venetians to preserve their architecture and traditions. During the gondola competition on the Canale Grande, the locals support their favorite teams by dressing up in their colors. Venice, from a reinforced fort to a world trade center. The city situated on the islands in the Venetian lagoon play an important role in the growth and glory of Venice. Nowadays, however, it is a, it is a serious annoyance for transportation of goods and services. The people who founded Venice were refugees from the Paduan area. During the fourth century, they hid there from the incoming barbarian attacks and transformed the swampy lagoon into a city of worldwide significance. Between the 7th and 15th centuries, while they were ruled by the doges, or dukes of Venice, who were elected by the aristocracy, Venice become, becomes the most important Mediterranean power. Venice gained a lot of riches by trading with spices from the Orient. These riches allowed the doges to build beautiful palaces, churches, and gorgeous residences, which today are tourist attractions. At the end of the 15th century, however, the decline of Venice began, and in 1797, they were nothing more than a bargaining ship between France and Austria. In that same year, Napoleon gave Venice to Austria, and it was not until 1866 that Venice became part of Italy. At present, thanks to the Biennial International Film Festival, Venice is one of Italy's main cultural centers, constantly being filled with tourists. In the meantime, La Serenissima, or the Holy Republic as the Venetians called it, became a symbol of destruction and downfall. As well as that, during the months of January and February, a thick fog covers Venice. This depressing atmosphere is reconstructed by Lucino Visconti in his 1971 film, Death in Venice. The climate of Venice. It is warm and moist during the summer and cold and damp during the winter. The average temperature in January is between zero and six degrees Celsius. And the average temperature in August is between 18 and 27 degrees Celsius. Some hot tourist spots are Piazza and Basilica San Marco, the Palace of the Doges, Ponte di Rialto Bridge, Museo Correr, and Galeri dell'Accademia di Venezia. Some interesting facts about Venice. The Venetian merchant and philosopher Marco Polo was the first European to travel to the Far East and is the first European to describe the countries and people that lived there. The novel, Debt in Venice, by Thomas Mann, was recreated for the big screen by Lucino Visconti. This movie popularized the darker atmosphere of the city on the lagoon. The term Commedia dell'arte, or comedian, got its origins in Venice. This style was revitalized by Carlo Goldini, who was a lawyer. However, at the age of 31, he begins his career as an author and dies in Paris in 1793. On the Canale Grande, the main waterway of Venice, there are only three bridges that allow you to cross over from one side to the other. These being the Bridge of the Academy of Art, Ponte Rialto, and the Scalzi Bridge. The main waterway of Venice is the Canal Grande, which is roughly four kilometers long. On its banks lie gorgeous passes, such as Cadoro or the Golden House. 
The city of bridges and palaces. The capital on the lagoon is built on many islands, 117 in total. Thanks to its geographical location, it is one of the most visited cities in the world. During the first half of the 18th century, the development of a new art style began. It reflected the interesting landscapes of the city and the ordinary lives of the people. This area of art was called vedute, or landscape. The most renowned artist that used the style was Giovanni Antonio Canal, or Canaletto, who was born in 1697 and died in 1768. The paintings of Canaletto are put on stamps, a nice little souvenir to take home from Venice. Modern tourists take many photos, videos, and buy souvenirs of the various places in Venice. One of the most famous being the Palace of the Doges on Piazza San Marco, St. Mark's Square. Near the palace, there are many other interesting sites, such as Campanile or Bell Tower, tall building from the 7th century, the clock tower from the 15th century, and the old and new lion statues from the 16th century. In the Palace of Doges, for a long period of time, all the people in authority of the Republic worked there. At the end of the 16th and beginning of 17th century, a prison was added near the palace and a small bridge connects the two buildings. This bridge became famous because of the writers of the 19th century who called it the Bridge of Sighs. The sighs refer not only to disappointed lovebirds, but also the prisoners that are being led from the palace to their prison cell. The statistics of Venice. The city area is 414.6 kilometers squared. The population in 2017 was 261,905. And in 2006, it was 269,780. And the population density is 631 people per kilometer squared. In a nutshell, the main religion of Venice is Catholic. The main language is Italian with a Venetian dialect. The most important areas are Canareggio, Castello, San Marco, San Paolo, Dorso Duro, and Lido. And the main airport is the Marco Polo Airport in Tessera which is 13 kilometers northeast of Venice. Niagara Falls, the border between two countries. Niagara Falls is found between the lakes Erie and Ontario. The so-called horseshoe, as it is known by Canadians, is one of the most popular spots in North America. Honeymoon at Niagara. The waterfall is a preferred place to visit by the newlyweds. It brings both the US and Canada a lot of income from tourism. The region of the Great Lakes has the most voluminous water area in the world. In the beginning, the Native Americans lived here, but from 1806, the white population started to colonize the area. The territory around the waterfall has always been subject to argument. In 1812, the Americans started to colonize the opposite side of the waterfall, and as a result, a war started between them and Canada because of the economic value of the area. Canada, which was a British colony at the time, however, turned out to be a stronger opponent than thought. After a series of diplomatic discussions, the pre-war borders were re-established. During the 1950s, Canada and the US signed a treaty in regards to Niagara Falls. Both countries built gigantic dams, which supply electricity to the whole region around the Great Lakes. The treaty limits the amount of water that can be redirected towards the hydroelectric station, which guarantees that Niagara remains a tourist attraction. Every year, more than 12 million people visit and are in awe of the breathtaking wonders of nature and the waters of the Great Canadian Horseshoe, the largest of the three waterfalls. On both sides of the shores of Niagara, there are numerous hotels and restaurants that are mainly used by the newlyweds 
for whom the falls are a beloved destination. The main econ economic value of the area is energy generation, hydroelectric, and tourism. The climate. It's warm during the summer at an average of 25 degrees Celsius. However, during the winter, parts of the waterfall freezes over. Some interesting facts. The name Niagara is an anglicization of the Native American word Unguiara, meaning straight. The fearless that decide to go down the waterfall in a barrel are called Niagara Daredevils by the Americans. In 1953, the movie Niagara, directed by Henry Hathaway and starring Marilyn Monroe, was filmed here. The first white man to hear about this natural world wonder was the French explorer Jacques Cartier, but was first documented by Father Louis Hannepin. Between the lakes, Ontario and Erie. The Niagara Waterfall forms a natural border between the US and Canada. This miracle na of nature is one of the most famous places on earth that has been conquered by man. Niagara Falls is found on the river, which has the same name. It formed during the last ice age. Scientists, however, are not sure if it formed 9,000 or 10,000 years ago. The river discharge is 11,000 meters cubed per second. On the river, between the border of the US and Canada, Goat Island is found, which separates the waterfall in two. The height of the American waterfall is shorter than the one on the Canadian side, called Horseshoe Falls. On the Canadian side, around 90% of the water discharge of the waterfall is located. Since there is constant erosion, the edge of the waterfall shifts to the west by 1.5 meters annually. And from the river, the body of water is considered to be 11 kilometers long and 100 kilometers deep. The clouds that form around the waterfall are beautiful. In 1885, the US designated the area as a national park. Despite these efforts, pollution in these parts cannot be stopped. On the Canadian side, there are large amounts of tourists and on the American side, the water is polluted by industrial waste from chemical plants. Niagara Falls is not just a border between Canada and the US. Both countries have built cities around it, both of which are called Niagara Falls. One is found in the state of New York and the other is found in the province Ontario. The two cities are connected by a bridge called Rainbow Bridge. Map of Niagara Falls, the statistics. 49 meters on the American side, 51 meters on the Canadian side. The width of the American side is 300 meters and the width of the Canadian one is 800 meters. And the average water flow is 2,400 meters cubed per second. In a nutshell, here are some of Niagara Falls daredevils. In 1829, Sam Patch. In 1901, Annie Edson Taylor. In 1911, Bobby Leach. 1928, Jean Lucier, 1930, George Statakis, 1951, William Red Hill, and in 1952, Nathan Boya. The Galapagos Islands, the archipelago of the giant tortoises. The Galapagos Islands stand out for their extraordinary flora and fauna. For this reason, the Ecuadorian government has declared around 90% of the archipelago should be a nature reserve. Noah's Ark of the Pacific. For many years, the plants and animals found on the Galapagos enjoyed peace and quiet. Thanks to its isolation, the archipelago to this day is a popular destination for the creation of nature documentaries. The Galapagos Islands are found around 1,000 kilometers away from the continental territory of the South American country, Ecuador. They are officially known as Archipelago de Colón or Archipelago of Columbus, but are more commonly known as the Galapagos or Tortoise Islands. These islands are a result of volcanic activity. On some of the islands, volcanic craters can be seen, such as on Isabella Island. As these islands are extremely isolated, the local flora and fauna adapted in many different ways. The first to document these adaptations was the famous British scientist Charles Darwin, and this inspired him to come up with his theory of evolution. On the rocky shores, the prehistoric marine iguana can be found. Currently, the naturalists are trying to discover ways by which this unique ecosystem can be preserved. 
And currently, as the tourism business is booming, to the joy of the poor citizens of the archipelago, the locals wonder why no new hotels are being built. To help preserve the unique nature of the archipelago, during the year 1934, Santa Cruz Island was declared as a national park. In this park, rare and endangered species of plants and animals, such as the giant tortoise, marine iguanas, Darwin finches, and the only species of penguin that lives in the tropics can be found. Statistics. The area of the archipelago is 8,010 kilometers squared, and it contains around 60 islands, five of which are populated. The population in 2010 was 25,000, and in 2006 was 19,184, with the most populous places being Puerto Ayora, Puerto Becarizo Moreno, Puerto Villamil, and Puerto Velasco Ibarra. The highest point is Wolf Volcano, which is 1,707 meters tall on Isla Isabella. The largest island is Isla Isabella, Isla Isabella and is 4,590 kilometers squared. And the deepest crater is Sierra Negra, which is 10 kilometers on Isla Isabella. Some of the hottest tourist spots on the islands are Altedo Volcano on Isla Isabella, Isla Lobos, Puente Suárez National Park on Española, the Charles Darwin Research Center on Puerto Ayora, the Tertus Reservation on Santa Cruz, the blooming roses of Floriana on Punta Cormorant, and the colorful landscape of San Bartolomé. Some interesting facts about the Galapagos. The name of the archipelago comes from the old Spanish word Galapago, meaning tortoise. These tortoises are believed to be the largest tortoise species in the world and have a lifespan of over 100 years. The Galapagos Islands host a variety of animal pairings, such as penguins and tortoises, that can't be found anywhere else in the world. Some animal species are only found on the Galapagos such as the Darwin's finches. At present day, tourists can visit the Galapagos only if they receive a special permit from the Ecuadorian government. The political map of the Galapagos Island. The Galapagos were discovered by the Spanish in 1535. They have only been populated by humans for around 300 years. At present day, only around five islands have a permanent human population. Most of the islands are kept as nature reserves. SOS in the Pacific. At present, the unique flora and fauna on the islands is being threatened. If the amount of tourists visiting does not decrease, soon there will not be much of work to be seen on the archipelago. In the past, the people, plants, and animals lived in harmony. There was no fight or separation of territory. It was just a place filled with diversity for the world to enjoy. Ever since the Galapagos became a tourist hotspot, this virgin land has been in danger. In the past decades, the infrastructure has been modernized and a second airport has been built. The number of tourists visiting increases up to 50,000 annually. And this has led to some dire consequences. The poor giant tortoises are forced to live among rubbish. The tourists fail to comply with the laws of the Galapagos National Park and the results are catastrophic. Seeds from foreign plants are being brought in, as well as non-native animals that are being introduced, which greatly endanger the local flora and fauna. The sharks, iguanas, and tortoises are also being hunted for their delicious meat. If the Ecuadorian government does not take serious steps to protect the archipelago, its indigenous flora and fauna, which creates such a unique ecosystem, will be destroyed. In 1997, President Abdallah Bukaram signed a plan which was heavily influenced by the World Wildlife Fund to decrease tourism, migration, and protect the environment. In a nutshell, the official name of the islands is Archipelago de Colón since 1892. Its former name was La Islas Encantadas from 1546. It is Ecuadorian territory. They are around 1,000 kilometers from mainland Ecuador. Its administrative capital is Puerto Becorizo Moreno on San Cristobal. The official language is Spanish. Its currency is the US dollar. The official religion is Catholic. And its largest towns are Puerto Yora on Santa Cruz 
and Puerto Villamil on Isabella. The major airports are Seymour Airport on Baltra Island and San Cristobal Airport on San Cristobal. The climate of the Galapagos. It's equatorial and dry due to the Humboldt or Peruvian current. Its average temperature in January is 33 degrees Celsius and in July it's 25 degrees Celsius. The average ocean water temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Japan, the land of cherry blossoms and technology. Mount Fuji, the sacred mountain of Japan, dominates with its beauty on the Japanese landscape and is considered to be the most beautiful volcano in the world. The last emperor of the world, the people of Japan received with horror the message of the emperor Hirohito in 1945 of the capitulation of Japan to the United States. For the Japanese, this was not just the end of World War II, for which they had to suffer the consequences that the atomic bombs dealt on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but also it was the end of the myth for a Japanese empire. The myth of the house of the emperor takes root from the time of the emperor Jemu. The myth of the house of the emperor takes root from the time of Emperor Jimu, which legends say he was ascended as emperor due to his lineage to the sun goddess Amaterasu in 660 BC. Jimu's descendants then built Kyoto, the imperial city. Kyoto has been the capital of Japan as well as the home of the emperor for more than a millennium and during the Middle Ages it enjoyed growth and prosperity. On the other hand, the rest of Japan was mainly rural and kept under strict control with the help of the army. The leaders of this army, the samurai, slowly gained more control and influence over the country until the emperor of Japan is left isolated in Kyoto like a bird in a golden cage. The samurai and their leader, the shogun, are successful in protecting Japan from foreign influences. It wasn't until 1854 when an American fleet finally discovered it. 14 years later, when the 15-year-old emperor ascends the throne, the last shogun comes into power. This was the time when Japan finally left its isolationist policies and started industrialization. The present-day emperor, Naruhito, only serves as a figurehead for Japan, despite his title being Emperor of God. Some hot tourist spots in Japan are Mount Fuji, Kyoto, the Imperial City, Tokyo, Sapporo, Ski Area, and the hot springs of Beppu. Some interesting facts about Japan are that the national sport of Japan is sumo, a type of wrestling, and has extremely strict rules. To participate professionally, there is a minimum height and weight requirement. On the 6th of August 1945, Hiroshima was destroyed by the atomic bomb. Three days later, Nagasaki met the same fate. The attack on Hiroshima takes the lives of 80,000 people, forcing Japan to capitulate to the United States. Japanese is a very difficult language to learn. There are three forms of written Japanese. They are katakana, hiragana, and kanji. A traditional form of Japanese theater is called kabuki. In all major kabuki theaters, all roles are performed by male actors, including the female. Males that act out the female roles are known as onagata. The climate of Japan is variable. However, it tends to be damp and rainy. It contains three different climates, temperate, subtropical, and tropical. The average temperature in Tokyo is between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius, and in August, it is between 22 and 30 degrees Celsius. The political map of Japan. The political map of Japan. The Japanese archipelago is around 2,200 kilometers long and contains around 4,000 islands that cover three climate zones. Temperate, subtropical, land of the rising sun. Japan is a country of many contrasts. A large portion of the population is still rural. However, among the stillness of the mountains, bustling metropolises filled with technology can be found. It is the country with the most technological expertise in the world. Any person would be jealous of the view that people get while flying over Japan. As they look through the airplane window and admire the still waters of the Pacific Ocean, they might see the four major islands of Japan, Honshu, Hokkaido, Kyushu, and Chikoku. From on high, you can see the wide fields, tall mountains, and more than 250 volcanoes, of which more than 100 are active. Japanese isles are found between the Sea of Okhotsk the Sea of Japan, the East China Sea, 
and the Pacific Ocean. Japan is found in an area with a lot of tectonic activity and gets an average of 1,500 earthquakes annually. In 1995, a large earthquake occurred in the industrial city of Kobe, destroying the homes of tens of thousands of people. Often, if you buy a camera or other electronic apparatus, chances are it was made in the land of the rising sun. In Japan, the headquarters of all technological companies prefer to be in the highly developed industrial city where three quarters of the population lives. The mountains are mainly preferred by the Buddhist monks and Catholic priests. The general populace, on their part, consider these places strictly for hermits. Statistics. The area of Japan is around 377,975 kilometers squared. The population in 2019 was 126.3 million and in 2006 it was 127.9 million. The population density in 2021 was 247 people per kilometer squared and in 2006 it was 238 people per kilometer squared. The highest point is Mount Fujiyama which stands at 3776 meters tall. In a nutshell, the official name of Japan is Nippon or Nihon. Its capital city is Tokyo. The major religions are Shintoism and Buddhism. The official language is Japanese. The currency is Yen. And their largest cities are Yokohama, Osaka, Kobe, Nagoya, Sapporo, and Kyoto. Hawaii, the Garden of the Pacific. The Hawaiian archipelago has a particularly interesting plant life. The flora grows particularly fast and the climate is extremely favorable for growing sugarcane, which was one of the island's main exports. Sandwich Islands As the location of Hawaii is between Asia and America, for a long time Hawaii was a dream for the sailors and explorers. In the year 1786, the French Admiral Jean-Francois de Gallop Comte de Lepre moors on the archipelago. In 1778, James Cook was the first European to discover the Hawaiian archipelago and named them the Sandwich Islands. Cook immediately seized the opportunity to develop trade and shipbuilding. When they were first discovered, Hawaii was just a collective of independent nations. However, by 1811, they were unified by King Kamehameha I. Nine years later, the first Catholic missionaries came along, and with them, they brought European technology, which was used to boost the local economy and culture. Following this, however, the white colonizers hired laborers from China to work on pineapple and sugarcane plantations. During the Spanish-American War, in 1898, the U.S. annexed the Kingdom of Hawaii as a strategic location. In 1959, Hawaii officially became the 50th state. Hawaii means homeland in the local Polynesian language. However, at this time, only around 20% of the island's population is native Polynesian. Some hot tourist spots on Hawaii are the many volcanoes and beaches, the state capital, the Royal Mausoleum, Mauna Ala, and the USS Arizona Pearl Harbor Memorial. The climate of Hawaii is damp. In the south it is more tropical, and in the north it's more temperate. The wind can be very prevalent, particularly at night. The average temperature in January is between 17 and 26 degrees Celsius, and in August it's between 20 and 28 degrees Celsius. Some interesting facts about Hawaii are the official state nickname of Hawaii is the Aloha State, which means love, fellowship, and welcome. Pearl Harbor, a U.S. Navy base near Honolulu, was attacked by Japan on December 7, 1941. As a result of this, the U.S. joins World War II. In Hawaii, the word Honolulu means calm harbor. From a geographical point of view, Hawaii is considered to be part of the Polynesian Islands, which are east of Australia, New Zealand, and New Guinea, but are west of the American continents. The political map of Hawaii. The islands that make up the Hawaiian archipelago have formed in multiple different ways. Eight of them formed as a result of underwater volcanoes, and around 124 formed from reefs. Hawaii is part of the United States and is one of the most attractive places on Earth despite the volcanoes not being fully dormant. The Pearls of the Pacific Hawaii is at the forefront of the US in the Pacific. Tourists all over the world flock to these unearthly beautiful beaches despite the presence of the unnerving dormant volcanoes. 
Hawaii is the 50th US state and is found between the 18th and 20th parallel, roughly 4,000 kilometers away from San Francisco. The archipelago consists of eight main islands, Hawaii, Maui, Lanai, Kaholoe, Oahu, Molokai, Niahau, and Kauai, and around 120 islands that have formed from coral reefs. The large islands formed as a result of the volcanic activity. Until the skyscrapers and hotel chains were built, Hawaii looked like all the other Polynesian islands with its natural beauty and beaches. However, now Waikiki Beach beats all the records for the amount of hotels that have been built on it. The economy consists of three main sectors, agriculture, tourism, and military base. Hawaii is one of the largest exporters of pineapples in the world and used to be the largest source of sugar for the US. Thanks to the long beaches and tall waves, the archipelago is a true paradise for surfers. From a military standpoint, Hawaii is the military base that is closest from North America to Asia from the West. The money that is spent by the US Navy on some islands that tourists are banned from visiting is also an important source of income. The statistics of Hawaii. The area of the islands is around 28,311 kilometers squared. The population of Hawaii in 2019 was 1.416 million and in 2006 it was 1.269 million. The population density in 2010 was 83 people per kilometer squared and in 2006 it was 66 people per kilometer squared. The highest point on the islands are Ma is Mauna Kea at 4,205 meters tall. In a nutshell, the state capital is Honolulu on Oahu, the official language is English, the currency is the US dollar, the official religion is Christianity, and the most important cities are Hilo and Kaunakakai. The Dead Sea Part 1, where no one can ever sink. Almost every attempt to sink yourself in the Dead Sea is unsuccessful. As there is such a high salt concentration in the Dead Sea, you can only float in it. The reservoir of water with no life. The name Dead Sea is no exaggeration. As a result of the high salt concentration in the water, life here is near impossible. The Dead Sea is the only body of water of this kind with the lowest average depression in the world. And it has always enamored scientists. The largest scientific expedition to this area took place during the 60s in the last century. In the Dead Sea, there is virtually no plant or any animal life. Despite this, every year thousands of tourists flock here for the medical properties of the salty water in the lake, for which special facilities have been built. Between the years of 1947 and 1956, in the caves in the northwestern area of the lake, near Qumran, the famous Dead Sea Scrolls were found. More than 500 scrolls written in Hebrew and Aramaic are believed to be proof that the Law of Moses was taught during the 2nd century BC. This discovery is still discussed and debated by theologians worldwide. Some of the hot tourist spots near the Dead Sea are the Judean Desert and, its, and the various other biblical landmarks, the Cave of Qumran, the Murabat Canyon, the ancient fortress of Masada, the location of the ancient city Sodom, and the Ain Gadi Spring. The climate of the Dead Sea is subtropical and hot. The average temperature is around 25 degrees all year round. However, it can be as high as 50 degrees Celsius. The statistics of the Dead Sea. The area of the lake is 605 kilometers squared. The salt concentration is 280 parts per million, which is eight times the average in the sea. The maximum length is 50 kilometers long. The maximum width is 15 kilometers wide. And the maximum depth is minus 306 meters. Some interesting facts about the Dead Sea are, one of the first people to name the Dead Sea was the Greek geographer Pausanias. The first 500 Dead Sea Scrolls of Qumran were accidentally found by random Bedouin. At present, the Dead Sea Scrolls can be seen in two museums in Jerusalem, one of them being Rockefeller and the other being the Israel Museum. And that's all for this first episode of Atlas, the world in your hand. In the next episode, I'll be covering Greece, New York, Australia, the Pacific Ocean, the River Nile, 
and the Dead Sea Part 2. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Thank you.